So people are growing up now. It's like they got nothing to look to. They're looking up to who? TikTok dancers? That must feel empty. Everyone's a little empty right now. So we're about to. We're about to for another fucking fire and brimstone revival. Somebody's got to rive up. Oh, dude, they're going to baptize Pete Davidson on <laughs> NBC in primetime. <laughs> they're going to crucify the Kardashians. They're going to put witches on faggots. Yeah, I can say it because it's the right context. They're going to put those dumb witches with their small brains back in the kitchen and on faggots with their witchcraft and emotions. And fire and brimstone is back because the devil has run amok in Brooklyn and Manhattan. And the gays. And then that part of the sermon comes. And the fornicators and gays. And God's virus that came to punish the gays and fornicators and communists. <laughs> did what it was supposed to do, cleaning out most of you perverts and heathens and gluttons. Now those who'd wish to repent, please come to the front of this basement in Bushwick <laughs> <laughs> to be sacrificed on behalf of your more innocent family members who still have a chance. Sacrifice yourself to Christ. Your sins are too deep. You can't be saved, but maybe your family can. And we'll buy it because it'll give us meaning. It will give us a team to root for. It'll give us an enemy. Now we'll turn on each other once again. Who's the sinner? Mm. The gossip will come back. This is the town whore. <laughs> then we'll have a real enemy. We'll roll up on the... Roll up on the Muslim neighborhoods and go, you guys want to get, you got, it'll, be, it'll be like the movie The Outsiders. Just everyone will have religious garb on. <laughs> <laughs> and then there'll, there'll be wars in the neighborhoods. New, new inquisitions. New Muslim conquerings, Ottomans. We have new wars. <clears throat> then it'll get chill again. There'll be a detente, no peace. And then the religious... Musicals will start. It'll be a big deal. <laughs> just be like, is that Satan? The first musical will just be a Romeo and Jet Juliet story between a Christian and a Muslim doing turf war. And that'll be that. Mm -hmm. It'll be a take on that because there's only a certain amount of stories. And that'll be the beginning. And they go, wait, that's like the Elvis Presley moment. Wait, this is sin. You see how it slowly happens? Yes. It slowly happened. Elvis was just, I think he just did this. I saw the talk. And people were like, oh, my God. And then Janet Jackson's titty, and they were like, oh, my God. And then we were acting like they were wrong, going like, what's the big deal? It's just that. But now we see that they were right, because that just leads to all types of anal transitions, <laughs> non-binary chaos. Close the gates of hell. Come to the sermon and listen to Jack, Jack Nielsen, former... <laughs> Shoemaker, because back that's what they during the revivals. It's like these former shoemakers start. They just start preaching in the street. They start gathering in the street, and then the old traditional church people get uh, they get um, threatened by the new preachers. They're like, "Hey, man, it's almost like uh, touring comics see internet guys and go, whoa, whoa, whoa. We do it the old school way." And they go, "There is no old school way, Jack. This is how we're doing it now. It's my town. Now. Come to come to the park while I'll be preaching for forty five minutes." About burning witches and sinners. Do you think those those cobblers ever got those professions confused between shoemaking and preaching? How so? They're like, oh, burn the witches, burn them down. And also, Tom, I have your nine and a half ready after the sermon. Also, we finished up on those shoes that you sent me. <laughs> <laughs> also, shop will be open tomorrow. It is a holiday, but we got a lot of orders. We got to bury some... Fucking fly. I'm talking fly, <laughs> hard, horse, horse leather shoes. <laughs> the first Great Awakening happened in 1730. Yikes. It lasted until uh, about 1740. It was like 10 years of hardcore trying to clean up these streets. You know? What do they call it? The Arab Spring? They had one too, right? It happens, dog. People don't see this coming. It's coming. 
It's coming. And I'm going to get out in the forefront of it. I'm sick of these grifters getting all the fucking credit. Yeah, man. Welcome to VCon. What'd you do? <laughs> Everyone, we're getting, we're getting the influencers together. All the influencers. We're going to make money. We're going to prosper. Yeah, that was that trend. I'm hopping on the burn them down. I'm going to throw. I'm throwing Gary V into a, a medieval torture device. <laughs> yeah, man. This is lit. Let's sell these. <laughs> no. No more selling, Gary. No more selling, Gary. Shop is closed. The internet shop is closed. The algorithm is closed. Now I want to hear you scream, Gary, and repent. Repent. Give me 14 Hail Marys <laughs> as we pull you apart. As we pull you apart with wild pit bulls from the street. <laughs> the way they used to use wolves, we just use street pit bulls to tie meat to each hand. So you go, it's fucking lit. And you, oh, God. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. Fucking monotone. Because <laughs> that's the next trend coming. It, it, it's it's inevitable. Mm. If you look at history, that's the trend. It snaps back like a rubber bag and goes extreme the other way. And you cannot tell me we are not fully extreme, deep in hedonism right now. Yeah, we're hedonism. This is Sodom and Gomorrah shit. Nobody caters to the middle. This is Sodom and Gomorrah shit. Church is becoming cool again. Because you know what? It became, it became so uncool to be like, what's up? Yeah, how you doing? I'm non-binary. That's like so fucking 2017 at this point. Mm -hmm. It's so 2017. I'm fucking non-binary. Like, what? yeah, whatever. I'm, 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 uh, my pronouns are out of this world. My pronouns are, yeah, yeah, you're going to accommodate me. You're going to refer to me as a bunch of people at one time. Because that's what I want to be. That's what I am. I'm not going to get a normative job. I'm not a normative person. I will have sex with him ever. And you're like, that was not cool anymore because that got played out. And now what's cool is this. This is what's cool now. This is the new influencer. Yeah. Oh, when he gets his way? Oh, are you kidding me? It's going to be worse than Mel Gibson. When we get, when we get the secret recording of Mark Wahlberg talking to his uh, housekeeper, it is going to make the Mel Gibson take to his wife sound like a Nate Bargatze comedy show. Yeah. <laughs> because he's going to be like, listen to me, you little wetback. Bleep, 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 bleep. Mm -hmm. I'm here selling merch. Now, when I say it's prayered up and I hear that vacuum cleaner, I will fucking catapult you right back over that wall, Berta. I'm making a goddamn influencer video about my Christian merch. <laughs> I am selling municipal, the strength, the glory, the faggotry, whatever he says. <laughs> it's not just that. Look at the shoes. Look at the shoes. Municipal. Because I'm a good Christian. I'm trying to make millions and millions and hundreds of millions of dollars off of you so I can give back to the poor people of Uganda through my non-for-profit that I run. With Creflo Dollar. <laughs> He'll catapult her right over the wall. And when we get that, you know, so right now, this this is, the, he has this amazing Instagram persona where all he does is work out, eat salmon with lemon, intermittent fast. It is so fucking boring. <laughs> I understand he may be in a good headspace. But let me tell you something. This is not where good art comes from. No, not from at all. Uh, stability and um, fastidiousness and uh, taking care of your body. I mean, and staying prayed up. I mean, let's be honest. Staying prayed up does not make for good art. Mm -mm. Every video, stay prayed up. I also don't appreciate the come on, come on, feel it, feel it of praying. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like mixing come on, come on, feel it, feel it, and pray. I don't like that. I don't like being told to stay prayed up. I don't like that. I don't. I like my hip hop over here, and my time for prayer over here. I don't like Marky Mark telling me to stay prayed up. Yeah. I would prefer not. Yeah. I know you'd like to think that nobody remembers. Come on, come on, feel it, feel it, feel the vibration, or you tugging on your nutsack and and Calvin Klein's with a coked up cake moss. But I was there. I was there when my ex girlfriend told me that you dicked her down. <laughs> 
Mark, you fucked my ex-girlfriend from high school. Oh, this. I is know wrong. she didn't mean anything to you, but she meant a lot to me at the time. This is where this is all and coming from. And I had from. to learn about it in a goddamn newspaper clipping. <laughs> Girl scene with Marky Mark. And then on top of that, I have tab people tell me that I remind them of Marky Mark. They do? Yeah, they say I look like him, I sound like him sometimes. Maybe if he was found in a river. For I mean, weeks. I guess, yeah. He was floating in the river. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe if he was found by the FBI in a river in a lake, <laughs> a bloated corpse of Mark, like Lorenz and Wright's killer, or dead body, I should say. Horrible documentary, Lorenz and Wright. Yeah, it's a basketball player. You gotta check it out, Lorenz and Wright. It is weird when hip hop and religion comes together. It is weird, right? Imagine if TD Jakes made a collaboration with N One. It just doesn't work, man. Yeah. yeah, like Christian rap doesn't work. The Christian rock and roll doesn't work, but it works a little bit. Christian rock and roll can work if you're unaware. You see, the thing is, they gotta hide it. You got to hide it. You got to hide it, especially in this era where it's not cool. Maybe it'll become cool. Maybe Creed will become the hottest. Because before I knew Creed was like a Christian rock band and that song was about like Jesus, I liked it. Mm -hmm. What was it again? Can you take me higher? Yeah, that was good. To a place. But then when you saw the interview and they were like, uh, can we pray before this interview? Okay, everyone, we're fasting for Virgin Mary's atonement. And you were like, all right, this isn't cool. Yeah. But it's about to be. Creed is about to do the Super Bowl halftime show, <laughs> right, with that other band that's uh, Christian rock with the chick and the guy. Wake me up, wake me for inside, get laid up, uh, save me. You know that one? No. Wake me up, yeah, no, no. get too far, that wake was, me up. That was in uh, Daredevil, I think. Save me. <laughs> and then you find out that song is also about Christian shit. Wake me up. You don't like to can't be, wake up. You don't like to be tricked like that, though. I like that. I like it a lot. I like bit. when I eat a burger and I like it and I find out it's vegan. Oh, so you must you'd like a trans woman then? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm just going home with this nice lungetti. Uh, ah, I guess we're trying something different tonight. <laughs> <laughs> wake me up. Know that song? Yeah. Save me. It hasn't been cool for a while, but the thing is that it hasn't been cool for a while. Means it's been Me. cool for too long mm -hmm. to not be that, and now it's time Swinging back to swing right back around. It's boomerang, dog. All these R and B artists are gonna go back into gospel. Gospel's gonna get big. We're about to have a big revival, right? Big, big revival. Um, go the first revival in America, and they've they've had revivals all over the world in different places. Like I said, Arab Spring. Then you've had them in Scandinavia. You've had them in uh, England. They happen all the time. This this people don't talk about this, but it's coming. Yeah, you're hearing it from here. For, I'm telling you, what's going to happen in the future? I'm telling you, there will be a baptism. There's going to be a reality show called Oh, which one's a witch? And they just try to find the witch. They try, and you know how the Bachelor's trying to find a uh, a, a husband. That's opulent. Mm. That's sin. That's the devil. That's from Satan. Now we're going to do a clean Christian version where we're finding witches by giving them tests. Starring a rope and a rock. Yes. Which one of y'all sucks good dick? You're a witch. But we'll find out first when you give me head. Witch. Witch head. <laughs> now burn her. That's satisfying. Mm. Imagine that's satisfying. They have no power. We're going to go back to a place where women have no power. We're going to get drunk with power again. And women are going to go, equal pay. We're going to go, just when they start the equal pay chant, equal. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry I suggested it. I'll go to the other part of the mosque. Yes. I want to hear a female soccer player open her mouth during the Christian revival. Yeah, Kelsey Plung. Tell me about how you just want equal representation in your pay based on what the owner's making. Open that mouth. First of all, why are you a woman playing sports? <laughs> Satan. <laughs> Why are you avoiding your God ordered duty to rear children and make more Christians into this world? You're not satisfied. You're playing a man's sport. It's for men. Get back inside. I want to see grease under those fingernails. Get back in that kitchen. It's a Christian revival. <laughs> We're all going to sit down and watch Justin Bieber's Justin Bieber's gospel hour. It's going to happen, right? P. Diddy's justice court. <laughs> it's going to be a good one, right? Judged by a council of your religious viceroys. 
right? No more mayors. Eric Adams, he's gonna, they're going to take him down. They're going to drag him through the street in their, in their black robes and their bare feet mm-hmm. with their ashes on their forehead. Instead of throwing rocks at him, they'll make him eat a honey bun. Yeah. You, this ragtag bunch of like Black Lives Matter protesters or you know, left-wing protesters, Antifa, all that we've seen the past couple of years, oh, right now they're finding God. Right now they're finding God. They're also doing it for content. Right? They've tried everything else. It got old. <laughs> Canceling became uncool. You know what's going to become cool now? Because it gave them authority, right? Like, we're right. You're wrong. You're doing something wrong. And then that got old and we went, fuck you. We Cersei'd them. We Queen Cersei'd them. We went, fuck you, you guys. And we blew them up. Mm-hmm. And we think they're going to go away. No, now they found the real authority we can't question. God. Now they're coming. Humans will always find the faith to do what they really want to do deep inside. Faith's coming back. They'll always justify it. Wake me up. If you think for one second that Nate Bargatze is not going to be playing from a blimp over a state (laughs) after a full prayer while everyone's holding a candle after fasting for seven hours and then he's going to hold communion after the comedy show, Mm -hmm. you have another thing coming. He's going to be the second president of the Confederacy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's going to be up in a blimp where the whole state can see the blimp. So I don't think a blimp will do. He'll be on a satellite. He'll be on a satellite rotating, and everyone will have a, uh, a telescope. Mm-hmm. Everyone will be watching a comedy show from a telescope, wearing those museum headpieces so you can hear the thing, right, when you can hear the tour. Everyone will have an earpiece in and a telescope, and he'll be sitting up there, how's, y'all, how's everyone, how's Tennessee doing tonight? <laughs> and he will, he'll mean Tennessee. Mm-hmm. He'll, how's Tennessee doing? Everyone will be forced to watch it, too. If you don't watch it, of course, you get crucified. So everyone's forced to watch it. They watch the show, and then he takes communion from the sky. He takes communion. Who wants to come forward for communion? And everyone is baptized, communion, stuff like that. And then it's like, okay, now that we've done that, we've had our pure laps, we've ate the blood and body of Christ, now let's go out there and um, for Jesus, in Jesus' name, have our, have our uh, weekly Tuesday purge. Let's go out there and clean up the streets a little bit. Any sinners, kill them on sight. Here's your Christian AR-15, which is now called our uh, Jesus Jesus Justice gun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and go out there and do what you have to do. Clean up the streets of sinners. Clean. Purge. And that's how it starts. It'll be beautiful. It'll be like the Hunger Games with a big cross behind it. <laughs> <laughs>